and the ground was frozen, I remember, at the time. And, uh, it, it, well, I don't know, because you could see the dirt fly when the rounds hit wrong, mm. and the leaves and stuff, but I suppose when they hit. But if I, it seemed like it was gotten cold or something up there, it seemed like it was freezing or something. And then it was real moonlight, and you could see in the woods pretty good. And then uh, they brought up a couple of replacements, and I don't know what for our platoon or something. And then we were, we were standing out there, and it was pretty light. And then it was really late at night, and he, probably this guy heard us or something. Maybe we were making, <laughs> and so this place gone. Of course, they were petrified, you know. Jeez, I wouldn't they come up there at night. And there was a guy. I mean, you can imagine. Oh yeah. Just think about it, and. Uh, and we, I suppose we were telling them that uh, they were assigning them to uh, partner them up with somebody in the holes uh -huh. and giving us some instructions to stay in the hole at night and just get in there and then, and, you know, what we're giving them. Then we're standing there talking and uh, about the time we're standing there, this dang crowd over there decided that probably, they, maybe they heard us or something. And he let go of the burst, the plunging fire, he, you know, he fired up high. Uh -huh. And it dropped right smack in the area we are standing. And this one, and it wasn't a bit funny. We didn't ever even did any, we just stood there. And this one or two rotations, the minute half, they just hit the ground as flat when they laid it, just as flat as they could. They probably had told them, sure. what, you know, on train, you know, you're supposed to. And they just looked flat right on the ground. Well, he fired about one burst and then was over with. Uh -huh. Well, nobody was hit. Just enough to say, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Can you imagine a guy, you know, at, they come up in this, at night and and then all of a sudden they, they get a... Orientation, huh? Yeah, I saw it with four guys. Orientation? Well, that was orientation from us, no... Uh, it was no, there was for real orientation. And that was the same place where this guy was harassing us. We were there for a few days. Uh -huh. And that, uh, we, Time for child. You know, I found another story there, and I know she put this in a book. Uh huh. You know, it's not, uh, we're talking about um, sanitation and uh -huh. facilities and that. So somebody decided that, well, we would probably be here two, three, three days or so. Uh -huh. And we don't just, maybe we should dig a slit trench down below the hill a little ways and then we we'll go and squat on that, you know, uh -huh. help me open the course. Yeah. And uh, so we did. And the guys had to go to the bathroom like in the daytime and at night they wouldn't get out probably, but in the day they'd, they would uh, go down there. And this guy was down there, and we could see, and we were a hot dog kind of in the side, and we could see down just a little way below us. Uh -huh. was this, and the guys would go around the cross. They didn't think about it, you know. But anyway, our, um, the guy was uh, section leader Mortar, Lou Hurst. Uh -huh. And he's really a nice guy. He's one of them easy type going guys. And well, anyway, he went down there, and he. <laughs> he he sat down and he took his pants down and he was squatting on this darn slip trench. And <laughs> he just got started and there this crawl started flying. Oh, God. Lunging <laughs> fire. And it wasn't the damn, but it was. We, we laughed. See, we yeah. thought, you know, he, he just lucky he didn't get hit. <laughs> and he sat there and then that leaves and dirt started flying around there. And he jumped up and he. <laughs> He put his pants around his leg and he's going to hide for his hole. He ran a little ways and he stopped. He got some toilet, <laughs> toilet tape. And he stopped, got the wife behind him. And he pulled his pants up and he took off again for the hole. And we were sitting on him laughing. It was so goddamn funny. And <laughs> he ran a little ways and then he stopped. And he got a toilet tape. <laughs> pulled his took off again. <laughs> They couldn't even, well, it, fortunately he didn't get hit because they landed around there. Yeah, you just have to, but, you just have to laugh about that, I guess. 
Oh, are you welcome? <laughs> <laughs> You think they'd put that in a movie? There would be a humorous thing. I don't know if we can put that in a book or not. But they were talking about guys' sanitation. We we're going to be so. So I don't know. After that, I think when they went, they probably went down there. It's not wrong. Always tap behind a tree or something. Yeah. <laughs> Learn your lesson. <laughs>